Here's what happened in the MX2 qualifying session at the MXGP of Great Britain. Here, the opening round of the FI Motocross World Championship. Well, due to uh, stormy night, the track was in pretty much an unrideable condition early on, so the uh, decision was made to delay proceedings, and qualifying became a combination of free and time practice. Early on, Abby Ferrato was one of the guys that was making the the pace, but then this guy, the MX2 rookie, number 39, Rowan van der Moosdijk, also started to get his name towards the top. Thomas Kier Olsen, though, already riding with a wrist injury, went over the bars, and he would only be good enough for seventh place. Tom Vial on the Red Bull KTM, also up and down the leaderboard, but eventually settled for fourth place on the number 28 machine. Jago Kietz went top briefly, but was pushed down to third late on in the session and he would eventually finish six tenths down on uh, Rowan van der Moosdijk and Mikkel Harup here, the number 11, the lead FNH Kawasaki rider today in qualifying. He topped the charts, and he will start from pole position on Sunday, ahead of his teammate. Thiago uh, Kiertz was third, Vial fourth, Muse, Hoffer, Olsen and Beaton, your top eight. Confirmation again then. Harrop will go to the line first for the MXGP of Great Britain on Sunday. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't honestly, I didn't expect to go out and uh, do so well. I was just trying to do some decent laps, and uh, I think even on last lap, even though I was first, I even made a better lap time. So uh, I'm really happy with my riding, and uh, yeah, just looking forward to tomorrow. The track is very difficult, uh, but hopefully it will be a good racing tomorrow. in the MXGP qualifying session. The time practice, the first few laps of their free practice training was in near perfect conditions. The track had been drying out, but rain, hail, sleet started to engulf this Hampshire circuit. Tony Cairoli eventually good enough for third place, but Adam Sterry here had to step off of his JD Gunnex KTM, and uh, he will go to the line outside the top. 20 places. Tim Geiser, though, was in a good mood. He eventually put in a lap, 241.6, which would be good enough for pole position, three tenths clear of Jesse Conis. Gautier Paulin there on the Monster Energy Yamaha came home in eventual ninth place ahead of Calvin Belandre. And Kai Rowley, as we said, was up to third. Jeffrey Hurling tried to put in a lap towards the end, but it eventually fell short for fourth. As Commander Sal here, number 25 on Monster Energy Kawasaki, had to be content with sixth. One stall for Tony Cairoli, but didn't affect his time. That time was already put in early on. Jorge Prado, eventually 19th after featuring early on at the top end, but just left his final lap too late. He missed the cut by about a second when he hit the line, but it was Tim Geiser who will go to the line fastest. Jessica is second, Cairoli, Hurlings, Jonas, DeSalle, Jacoby and Evans.